Today I'm going to show you how to use VS Code with Unity and it's pretty simple. So the first thing you want to do is search up Unity Visual Studio Code and click on the first link. It'll be in the description and you can see that we have some prerequisites here. Click on this one, install the netcore.sdk and depending on your OS, you can just click which one you're using. And for Windows, I'll just install the current one, which is the .NET SDK x64, which is a 64-bit system. And this is the recommended one. So you can just download that. So here in the installer, just click install. And here it will just install the SDK package. You can see it installed a bunch of stuff here. And now we can just search up visual code, studio code, and we can just download for Windows or whichever OS you're using. And when we click that, accept agreement and just choose the default or wherever you want to install it. I always choose the default though. Click next. This is for a start menu folder, which I'd like. I click next there. I also create a desktop icon and I also like to add open with code for all of these. So when you right click a file, it'll say to open with code, which I find it really useful for opening programming files. And I also like to register code as an editor for supported file types. So here, click next and just click install. All right. Now we can click finish and go to this button here, which is the extensions. And so you want to download a couple extensions here. So you can just type in Unity and mine were already installed from last time. So install the debugger for Unity right here. Click install, install Unity tools and also Unity code snippets, which I find useful. And for those of you wondering what my theme is, I use a Godot theme. So Godot and here is the GD script theme by James. All right, and so just go to any Unity project and go to edit and then preferences, then go to external tools and you should see Visual Studio Code here. So just click the Visual Studio Code and it will update all of these for you. So it will automatically add in this args. If it doesn't show up, you can browse for it and go into the folder where your Visual Studio Code downloaded, where you downloaded it and just select the EXE. The Visual Studio Code EXE file. All right, and then when you open a script, you'll see your code. However, this is the part where a lot of people are having issues, which is the IntelliSense isn't working, meaning it's not recognizing certain variables from Unity. And there should be a terminal that pops up with an output here. So you go to terminal, new terminal, and you can see the output. And there's a bunch of stuff going on here. And because I already have it installed, it's not throwing any errors, but if there's an error, it's going to tell you that it doesn't have a .NET Core 4.7.1. You need to download the Microsoft.NET Framework 4.7.1 developer pack, which installs the .NET Framework 4.7.1, the targeting pack, and the SDK. And you can see this is the .NET files that I have downloaded, so make sure you have those. This is the one we just downloaded, the 5 version one and this is the 4.7.1 targeting pack developer version. So just go to this website, which you can just go to on google.net framework 4.7.1 developer. And it's the first link there and you can just click English and download and it's an exe file and all you have to do is install it. You'll see I already have that installed, but you'll notice if this is working or not by this output and it'll tell you what it's missing there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope this was helpful to you. If you're still having problems, please post any questions in the comments below or you can post in our discord channel and we'll see what we can do. And I want to thank all my patrons for the support. I really appreciate it. I'd like to thank my new patron Spark in the enthusiasm tier. If you're interested, the link for my Patreon is in the description. I offer early access, source code for my videos, and an exclusive Discord channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to join our Discord channel where you can ask questions, chat, or post memes. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.